1964, Spain was chosen to host the second European Nations Cup. 29 teams entered the knockout format played over two legs, with Italy and England present for the first time. Bobby Moore's England, however, lost heavily to France in the qualifying round, while Luxembourg reached the last eight. Meanwhile, Greece refused to play Albania, with whom they were officially at war, and forfeited the game. A controversial start in the tournament for the country who would be champions of Europe 40 years later. So the four nations to reach the semi-finals were host Spain, Denmark, Hungary and once again the Soviet Union. Hungary and Spain met in Madrid and with Luis Suarez pulling the strings the youthful Spaniards proved difficult to contain. Pereira opened the scoring for the Spanish in the 35th minute and for a long time it looked as though that would be enough. But Ferenc Benny equalised five minutes from time, sending the match into extra time. And here, Real Madrid's Amancio settled the tie with just five minutes remaining. Host Spain were in the final, but there they would meet the mighty Soviet Union, the defending champions, who'd crushed Denmark 3-0 in the other semi-final. In 1960, the Spaniards had withdrawn from the inaugural tournament on political grounds when due to take on the Soviet Union. Four years on, General Franco was present in Madrid to see Spain face the Soviets in the final. And it was Pereira again who inspired the Spanish, capitalising on a Soviet blunder to make it 1-0. Kusainov hit back immediately for the USSR. Only eight minutes gone and it was already 1-1. But Spain were not to be denied on home soil, and Marcelino planted a swooping header past Lev Yashin with six minutes left to win the final. Nearly 80,000 spectators inside Real Madrid's Bernabeu Stadium roared their appreciation of Spain's new look side. It is the only time to date that Spain has won a major international title.